disgusting, vile, heinous act. Not in a million years would I have ever imagined him to be a monster hidden in plain sight. A cold case solved in North Carolina has a tri-state family reeling tonight. The family thought a mother and son had moved overseas, but they were actually murdered 20 years ago. Not on your sides. Josh Bazan spoke to the family today after learning of the tragedy. He joins us live in Sardinia. Josh. Good evening. That family still lives just a few miles from here, and this is where their brother raised his son and lived with his wife, but the family is now learning the truth about what happened after their brother, John Russell Witt, moved with his family to North Carolina 20 years ago. Unbelievable, huh? It's disgusting. Yeah. It's news no family is ready to hear. You cry a lot, I can tell you that. And it's news this Brown County family had no reason to expect. It's been absolutely devastating because we didn't know they were missing. Is it? It's like it just happened. It's like we just found out December 26th that my brother went on a murder spree. Barbara Molman was Bobby Witt's aunt. She says her brother, John Russell Witt, had told the family 20 years ago his wife Myung and Bobby left to live in South Korea. Just last week, Molman says her brother, John, confessed to murdering his wife and child all those years ago. There are no words to describe what it, this has been like for our family. It's been the most tragic, devastating experience of our lives. The family only found out when investigators in North Carolina revisited a cold case. They found Bobby Witt's remains along the highway in 1998, but could never identify the child. That is, until recent DNA tests connected him to his family in Ohio, where Bobby was raised for most of his life. And he was funny. He had a real dry sense of humor. He was made you laugh and he was sweet. He was a sweet, sweet, gentle, kind hearted little soul. He was a good little boy. Barbara Molman is working to get the money together to move the remains of her sister in law and nephew here to Brown County so they can be buried alongside her mother. As for her brother, she says she's not sure the family will ever be able to forgive him. Reporting live in Sardinia, Josh Bazan, 9 on your side.